you know, he loved you like his own. And the fact that you are not his biological son has nothing to do with his feelings. He wants you to know that you are supposed to be his son in this life. He says, you almost cut your hand off one time, though. When I was, when I was young, you were fishing with him. Fishing with him. You used to go out to do nets. You almost cut your hand off? Yeah, I mean, he got caught in the net. Okay. Uncontestable fact following the message. Exactly. All right, let's get back to him now. Vitamin D. Vitamin D. That's yeah. you? Yeah. What's going on with the vitamin D? I, I take a high amount of vitamin okay. D. Okay. God, he's another one. He's, I've got a lot of hyperactive spirits today. This guy had two speeds on and off. Okay? He was either sleeping or moving. He what? He was either sleeping or out doing yeah, something. Yeah, it's like, you know. Um, but, you know, he kind of had this cowboy thing going on. It was like John Wayne on crack. <laughs> he was a gentle giant. Yeah, yeah, he's a big, lovable guy, lots of energy, boundless energy. And he said one of the things he always loved about you is you could keep up with him. And let me tell you something, he was not easy because, and it's not that he was hard on you, but he wanted to do things. He wanted to see if you could keep up with him, and you did. And he wants you to know that you measured up. You always met his expectations. He's incredibly proud of you, all right? What's with the margarine? Well, besides the fact that he bought containers about the size of it. <laughs> Uncontestable fact following the message about how he felt about you, you see? All right, so not only did he love you as a son, but you were able to keep pace with him. So let me tell you, this guy was a lot of energy. Now, um, I'm seeing maple leaves, and I'm seeing leaves falling to the ground. Now, I live in Florida, so it's either green or greener there. We don't get the, the leaves falling to the ground. So I'm seeing maple leaves falling to the ground, and this is indicating to me um, late September, early October. Let's say about September 15th, October 15th, that time frame. Does that make sense to you in any shape, form, or fashion? It doesn't always have to be with him. It could apply to you as well. Or the maple, maple leaves. Well, I was thinking that it was he passed away in the fall, but not in that time frame. Okay, he passed away in the fall? Yes. W w when did he pass? Well, in December, but it was fall for us. That's not where, it. Where do you live? Well, around here, but... Okay. Um, it's in the... I don't want to take credit for that, yeah. because, because it, I get other imagery for December. He's giving me that specific time frame, so that's one I want you to think about. Go ahead. I'm seeing the spark of recognition. I, I got separated in August. I mean, in October. You got separated in as October, in, but okay, hold on. You don't need anyone's validation and stop looking at that separation as if you have done something wrong and you have failed because you have not and you don't need anyone's validation. Okay. Smelling mold. Is there an issue with mold, mildew? Yeah. In what way? Well, nobody's going to buy an old house of mine here, right? You, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what? I said nobody's going to buy an old house of mine here, right? <laughs> Has your house got mold and mildew? Another house I had, yes. It had a problem. So the answer is? Yes. <laughs> Hold on. Don't hit back. Hold on, hold on. That, that does not mean in the physical sense. Okay. Sure. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> As your attorney, I advise you not to hit. No, I, already, I already know that. God, if only clients would listen. If you do hit, here's my card. No, when he says don't hit back, this is not a tit for tat thing. You did this, now I'm gonna hurt you. Snakes, what's up with the snakes? Oh, I've got tons of them on my property. You've got what? Well, a lot, I have a large property. We have a lot of snakes. Yeah. Did you have? Um, did you ever have like a like a constrictor 
I'm seeing like a boa constrictor. No, not at all. Hold on, hold on, this is pretty specific. It's a metaphor. The relationship that you were in, you felt constricted, like it was swallowing you whole and suffocating you. Okay? Yeah, I had a bull constrictor. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs>